Stevenson, keep it going. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. ADHD, what bullshit. <laughs> it's not fucking real, dude. I'm, I can say this because I fucking have it, okay? All right, it's okay if I make fun of ADHD, but I feel like if 50% of a population has a disease, it's not a fucking disease, you know? <laughs> like, if you, like if cocaine cures your problem, it's not a fucking problem. <laughs> it's just nerds diagnosing cool people, you know? That's my opinion on ADHD. No, I'm just kidding. ADHD. It's high definition. Eight. All, right. <laughs> All right, guys. Our next comedian coming to the stage is absolutely fantastic. I love him. He's one of the he's one of the organizers and producers of this very event. All right. Woo! You, know, you love him. He's cool. He's funny. Please give it up for Ken Ward. Oh, oh. Give it up for Brett. Woo! God, I am jealous of that mustache, man. Got those LGBTQ Doc Holiday vibes going on. <laughs> oh, God. Man. Brett has, like, the perfect hipster mustache, right? Like, he looks like when he lays down to sleep at night, his mustache just sneaks away to Hamtramck to fucking... <laughs> to drink craft beer and to take improv comedy classes. <laughs> fucking hipsters. <laughs> they don't give me stage time down there. That one's for the comedians. Okay, so I have some really big news, actually. I'm celebrating tonight. Uh, my girlfriend's here. We've been dating for five years, and I just found out she's pregnant with our first kid. Well, Thank you. Well, I really appreciate that. We don't know if we're going to keep it yet or not. Uh, I, I, I know. We're in that gray area, man. Thank you. Pro, pro life? Pro life? I don't know. Pro choice crowd. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're in that gray area, you know? <laughs> Fucking five days. Oh, jeez. I don't know what I'm going to do. I did tell her, though, no matter what we do, I'm going to be a good boyfriend and hold her hand through the whole thing. Whether we're welcoming, welcoming a beautiful life into this world or we're stopping one dead in its fucking tracks. I find it funny how millennials uh, think of getting pregnant like a small kid finding a stray dog. Right? Like, my girlfriend's like, can we keep it? Can we keep it? And I'm the stubborn dad, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Having a kid is a big responsibility. You have to walk it, and feed it, and you just can't lock it in a cage when you want to leave. We're millennials, not politicians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that joke's old. Kids are still in cages, no one gives a fuck anymore. That's what I call progress. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm completely lying about that. I don't even have a girlfriend. Yeah. I called my last relationship Lizzo because it didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh, for the fat joke, but the abortion is fair game, eh? Yeah, that's fucking, that's right. Makes sense, right? Words are violence, abortion is health care, and Garfield is a big red dog that loves eating spaghetti. Yeah, I'll let that one sit for a second. <laughs> All right. All right, it's a weird segue to this one, but uh, I just found out I'm bisexual. Yeah, if I say that joke in Ferndale, they throw me a parade. I have never been at a comedy show before and it goes from laughter to hate crime like it just did. All right, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, you guys didn't see that one coming, did you? No, neither did my Republican dad. Yeah, he was like, but you were always good at sports. Like, that fucking matters. It's like, Dad, I was a tight end. That's the gayest position in football. Behind being a backup fullback. Let that one sit. <laughs> but I, I, I actually found out I'm bisexual because I, I, I hooked up with a guy from my college basketball team. And we were the two tallest guys on the team, right? He was the center and I was the power forward. They used to call us the Twin Towers. Which is ironic, because now we're going down on each other. Oh! Yeah. 9-11. Yeah, 9-11. I'll let that one sit. Yeah. Let that one hit ground zero. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag never forget that one, eh? It's awesome. It's good stuff. Uh, you guys ever hear the one about a guy who ate an edible before he did stand-up comedy? <laughs> it's not that funny. Uh, all right, so where's Downriver at? 
All right. Yeah, no, it's usually something you don't admit, you know? Down River is kind of like Michigan's butthole because everywhere you go, it smells, and everyone that lives there is a piece of shit. We have a saying in Down River, and that saying is, is it really domestic violence? <laughs> or does Tyler just have a weird way of showing his love for you? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, one thing that's weird about Down River is all the ghetto kids I went to high school with are all plumbers and electricians now. And it's, it's super fucking weird. Like, I used to buy Molly from these people, and now they're HVAC specialists. It's just really fucking weird. Uh... I recently moved to Detroit, and I'll be honest, I love Detroit, but uh, my pet peeve with the city is when really hipster white kids hang out in like really gentrified areas of Detroit, and they say things like, oh, Detroit's really coming back. Like, yeah, Jason, your $8 craft beer is gonna do wonders for the economy, man. <laughs> and a crime rate that's higher than Snoop Dogg riding a giraffe. It's gonna be fucking awesome, man. Absolutely, I fucking hate them, you know? <laughs> Um, I actually want to recreate the show Naked and Afraid, and instead of being putting people naked in the jungle, I want to put hipsters in really bad parts of Detroit and watch them freak out when they can't find an electric scooter to get them back to Greek Town. <laughs> yeah. Some of you held back on that. I fucking know. I, I, you're those fucking white people. Like, oh my god, this is so fun. <laughs> fucking white people. Yeah. All right. So growing up in Detroit, uh, before I wanted to be a comedian, I actually wanted to be a rapper. I know, right? Me. Uh, I'm whiter than an episode of Friends, man. And then I wanted to be a, a rapper up until I was about 17, and then I was diagnosed with autism. And the doctor, he didn't really describe it right. He was like, oh, you're a little bit different. And I was still in my rapper phase, so I was like, Hell yeah, I'm different. I, I switched my SoundCloud name to Little Audi. I, I was like, this is fucking it, man. Uh, I didn't realize it means I'm mentally challenged. But then I, I, I quickly figured out, I was like, oh, I could be the first mentally challenged rapper ever. But then I found out who Riff Raff was. And I'm like, I could be the second mentally challenged rapper ever. Uh, I love that you can just look at your phone and I feel no pressure whatsoever. I don't have a fucking guy in a suit fucking looking at me. <laughs> yeah, that's not that funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so the Nashville shooting. Oh. oh, God. Oh, God. So I heard they identified as a white male, but they were born a female, right? And if that's true, then welcome to the club, man. That was your initiation. You're in. Yeah, dude. I've been a white man for 27 years. That is commitment. They deserve to be one. <laughs> it's kind of like a... <sighs> that was really dark, I know. I, I know. Just gonna move on. All right, I have a very dark sense of humor, guys. If you haven't noticed. Uh, my friend always argues with me. He's like, you have a very dark view of the world. And I always reply, do we live in the same world? It's a very fucked up world. He told me, he was like, oh, I saw something that made me sick the other day. He goes, I saw that Mars candy bars were using child labor to make all of our delicious sweets that we eat here in America. And I said, that's common knowledge. He said, how do you know that? I said, because I've seen the movie Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> what do you think Oompa Loompas are? You think they're there by choice? They fucking killed the kid in the chocolate river. And then they sang a song about it. That wasn't a cute child song. That was a ritual to the cocoa gods for a good rainfall. You saw a sweet child movie. I saw a movie about colonization, capitalism, and a factory filled with OSHA violations. It's good. Good stuff. Oh, God. All right. So, I recently got booked at a drag show, and I was really excited to get booked because it paid good. And so, as it got closer to the date, I started freaking the fuck out because I'm like, I'm about to do stand up comedy at a drag show. And it was really scary. And 
looking back on it, it's absolutely, like I was absolutely ridiculous for being scared. It was the easiest crowd I've ever performed in front of. It was a bunch of first graders. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, oh God, I didn't know first graders were big fans of drag. Like this, like there's nothing weird going on. My best bit is I just did this. That's it. All right, guys, that is my time. Thank Woo! you so much. Where's Brett? Do I hold this mic until Brett comes back? There he goes. There he goes. Thank you, Brett. All right, Ken Ward, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. God damn. Some good material in there. You said abortion was health care. <laughs> does that make, like, pushing your wife down the stairs like a holistic remedy?